Um, today's video is for anyone who is struggling or suffering or experiencing doubts, fear, lack, limitation, confusion, or getting stuck in body sensations or pain or world events or situations or grievances and would like to know your true nature of peace and happiness. And even more importantly than that, you'd like to be established in it. To be established as consciousness, as joy, as peace, and no longer get sucked into memory, thought, sensations, feelings, emotions, but to really be established as what you are. So I'm Lisa Natoli. I put a new video here on YouTube every Tuesday. I invite you to subscribe and I also invite you to click the little button up in the banner here on YouTube. It will take you to my website and there's a lot of cool events happening in September. So just check out my events page and you can sign up there. So today what I want to do briefly is talk about the difference between two of the paths that lead you to peace and happiness, which is A Course in Miracles versus the direct path. Neither is, is right or wrong, neither is better or best. And that's only two paths that one can take. You know, we've heard the saying, all paths lead to God, all paths lead us home. So you can take a religious path, you can take a spiritual path, you can take a self-help path, whatever paths you want to take. So we're going to the mountaintop, so to speak. And what that means is that we're standing at the, at the base of the mountain. And, and what that really means is standing in conflict. We're standing in self-doubt and we want to take this journey to the top. And you can take any path you want. You can take a path that's well known, just go zoop, straight up. You can take a scenic route. You know, if you want a different analogy, you can say you're going from New York to California. You can walk there, fly there, take a bus, take a train. You decide. There's no right or wrong. It doesn't matter. You take whatever route you want to take the slow route, the scenic route, the fast route all good and the route that i took for 25 years is a course in miracles and to me this is the path of purification so this is a path that meets you where you think you are as a body as a mind with thoughts with feelings with emotions and the belief in separation so we believe i am a body there's other people and Here's just what life is all about. A Course in Miracles leads you from the separated state within. And what it does is it has like a subject object method where there's a you and objects. And what happens in A Course in Miracles is a willingness to bring the object closer to you and you dissolve the object into the subject through forgiveness, blessing with holiness, with love. So you have a willingness to stand as the subject. I am a body. I am a mind. But I want to know myself. I want to know oneness. I want to know wholeness. And having the willingness to collapse the subject object. So there's just the one and eventually after you've gone through the 365 lessons or any point in between enough has been dissolved that the self is realized you start to have glimpses or for some people full-blown recognition i am the self i am consciousness there's only oneness and, and a course in miracles is not a non-dual teaching Many people call it a non-dual teaching. It has non-dual ideas. For example, I am real for the world is not, and I would know my own reality. That's a non-dual idea. I am real for the world is not, and I would know my own reality. But A Course in Miracles is definitely dual because it uses a bunch of different entities like Holy Spirit, Jesus, Christ, God, you, others, 
and asking Holy Spirit to help you. There's a you and there's a something else that you think is outside of you. It's nothing wrong with that. But it definitely is teaching within a dualistic frame system to bring you back to oneness. All good. And and it that can take time. And it's all good. <laughs> like I don't I, I love a course in miracles. I personally did it for 25 years, reached a point in 2018 where I just was like, what am I doing wrong? And I decided to go look into the direct path. Now the direct path invites you immediately to abide and stand as the self, as your true nature of peace and joy and happiness, as the absolute, as consciousness. And to see everything arising within you as consciousness. So this is a totally different approach where you start to say, okay, I'm just going to start here. I'm going to start with the recognition of my own wholeness of oneness and everything that comes up, memories, situations, I lose my, use my hands a lot, is is simply seen as arising in you, not you the body, you consciousness. As you stand knowingly as the self, as consciousness, there's an energy field that begins to dissolve the things that are arising and disappearing. So a body sensation suddenly is in your awareness when we think we're a body, we attach ourselves to it and we tell a story about it. When you're standing knowingly as consciousness, it arises and you don't touch it. You just let it be whatever it is, pain, someone does something you don't like. And it will literally just arise and it will disappear. It's only when you kind of leave that position and attach yourself to it. I don't like that. Boom. You've just joined the object and then you forget the self. It's always here though. It's, it's always available to you to return back to the knowing of what you are. Of course, a miracle says, Enlightenment is a recognition. It's all it is. We're not going anywhere. There's nothing to do. But again, one of the paths that you can take if you feel like it is to do something, to do forgiveness work, to bless everyone and everything with holiness, to love everyone and everything while you still believe your body. No problem. It's all good. Because what that does, that's an energy field too. And so what you're doing, that's the path of purification, is you're purifying the mind. It's just like, okay, I'm not holding on to that grievance. I'm not going to hold on to that anger. I'm letting myself bless it with holiness. I'm letting myself just remember what I am. And see, that actually is back to the direct path. So they actually intermingle with each other. But I really wanted to just express that for anyone who's stuck on either path. Like if you're stuck in the direct path and you've been in non-duality for a while and you're not getting it, maybe go over to A Course in Miracles. If you're stuck in A Course in Miracles and you've been doing it for a while, check out the direct path. You know what I mean? Like just if you're trying to get to a destination and you're not reaching it and you're frustrated, why not? Why not have an open mind and say, I'm willing to look at a different path. Let me let not try to like effort anymore or, or make this hard. It's so easy. And then it really, after that recognition, in my experience, being established in this, how to be in the world, how to include the body in, how to be present, how to engage and never leave that location as the self. So you're able to actually travel back down to the body and the mind. You can stay established as the self and go to thoughts or memory, go to the body. Maybe there's a symptom. 
and and it doesn't matter and you just but you never leave this place you never leave this place on high and you can go down and you can go up you can reach other people too you can go down to where someone's suffering you never leave your place of peace and joy and that brings them up so you become like a bridge you become the bridge where someone hears something or or you're demonstrating a, a particular energy field and someone who's suffering actually sees you and goes what and and that literally gets them out of that stuck place so i hope this is helpful the best thing you can do is go sign up for the end of seeking conference it takes place on september 16th through the 18th there's course in miracles teachers and non-duality teachers there totally free it's on our website and you may hear something that can change your life. I love you.